there today I'm unboxing a Wi-Fi wall touch switch so this is by a company called Sonoff let's have a quick look around the packaging quite nicely packaged actual dimensions there some details about the specification works with both Google Assistant and Amazon Alexa it's quite cool let's have a look inside the packaging okay just this within that packaging let's take it out so first of all got quality control pass certificate supposedly got some instructions let's have a look in English and the other side in Chinese okay so this is a smart light switch obviously links in to Alexa or Google Assistant and one of the things to note you're gonna need a neutral cable going into this so live in live out Wi-Fi details power details max current 2 amps build quality seems good very thin layer of glass there just to note plasticky obviously let's check out the actual depth of the product so if I hold metal ruler there two and a half centimeters approximately and then if I just put it there just over half a centimetre so it looks about 0.8 from what I can see so in thickness quite nice glass finish on there so there you go seems good it doesn't come any with any mounting screws which I'm surprised generally you would have thought these products come with mounting screws so let me show you how to wire this up and then we can see it in action okay just to show an existing lighting circuit so here we have your cable going from one light switch to the next and in between there you have your junction so this could be going into a ceiling rose for example or just a junction box and this is how it gets connected up so if you imagine your light or lamp holder is in this position and connection wise you've got your switch over here and as you press the button on the switch it closes this circuit and just provides the live connection to your light so what we need to do is obviously get this Wi-Fi light switch wired into this sort of environment so this is how you do it so obviously you've got a live cable you want to send that to your live connection on your junction and then your neutral goes to the neutral connection on the junction and then your L1 or your switching one actually goes to this position so this is where you're going to provide the connection for the live so obviously neutral and live are used because you need to keep the actual switch on continuously to be able to actually receive a signal hence why you need both those connections there so hopefully this should give you an indication how it should be wired generally in the UK you don't have a neutral connection just to note I've mentioned this a few times already but it's really important because if you try doing this yourself and you don't have the neutral connection it's quite a hassle because you've got to actually replace the cable or call an electrician in to do this so just be aware of this okay so we're at our light switch here just to show I've got my live here I've got my neutral here and the switch connector just there so on the actual switch itself we've got N in L in and L out so we'll put our neutral in there we'll put our live in there and the switch in there so let me do this off camera and then I can show what it looks like okay so we've connected the actual switch now you can just about see it just wired in now on the front you can see it flashing 
ever so slowly. Now if I just angle it slightly so you can see in my kitchen briefly, it's a light touch and it turns on, and a light touch and it turns off. So excellent, it's actually working. Okay, so the next thing I'm gonna show you how to do is how to get the app working with this device. So I've got my Android device here. I've gone to the Play Store and I've searched for the app eWe Link. Let's open that. I've also registered account on here already. Let me click the plus icon and it's going for the quick pairing. So the next dialogue will ask for my Wi-Fi details. So let me do that off camera. And now it's gonna to attempt to pair it. Very quick, there you go. It's called My Device. I'll just call it Light, so you can rename it. Let's call it Kitchen, Kitchen Light. Click Complete, add it in. Okay, so now if I adjust the camera, just so you can see everything at the same time and click Hear it click and turn on. Slight vibration to it as well. So it gives a indication that you've clicked it. So just to show other things. So you can set a timer, which is quite cool. So you can say turn off after one hour, for example. You can set a schedule as well. So you can say if you want it to repeat multiple days, it's quite a nice interface there. You can say a particular date you want it to come on and a time as well. And if you want it to turn on or off, so that's all good. Go back, loop timer. I've not seen this before. I guess if you want to have it looping around a certain period, you can do that. So there you go. If I click that now, you can see it turn on, click it again, turns off. So there you go. Works quite well with the app and functionality wise, it's really good. Okay, so the next thing to show is how easy it is to link in to your Amazon Alexa. So I've gone to the skills, I've picked this particular skill and it's discovered the device straight away. If I go back, back again. Let me just go off camera just for a second just to show the smart control and it's just there. So you can see in the background if I click that turns on turns off. Okay, so let's test it out with the Alexa. So, Alexa, turn on kitchen light. Okay. There you go. Strange it's showing there was a problem, but it is working. I guess it's just slow. So let's try turning it off now. So, Alexa, turn off kitchen light. Okay. So there you go. Easily works with that. So next thing to show is the Google Home. So if I go in there, I've added it in using Smart We Link and it's added in just there. So now if I say, let me turn this off actually so it works directly off the Google Home I've got below. Okay Google. Turn on kitchen light. Okay, turning on the kitchen light. Okay, Google, turn off kitchen light. All right, turning the kitchen light off. There you go. Great light. 
So you've seen it unboxed, you've seen how to install it, you've seen how to configure your app to use it, you've seen it in use with your Google Home or Amazon Alexa. Simple to set up, and there you go. Hope it's helped anyone attempting to install one of these. Thanks for viewing, and don't forget to like and subscribe.